Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road and today my UNESCO World Heritage journey is at the Piazza del Duomo in Pisa, northwest Italy. So the Piazza del Duomo is the cathedral square here in Pisa and it consists of the enormous cathedral you can see behind me, the baptistry over here and of course the Campanile, the bell tower, the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa. Now of course the Leaning Tower is one of the most famous buildings in the entire world but the other buildings here look really beautiful as well so let's have a look. So this is the Cathedral of Pisa and it's absolutely beautiful. It's quite large and it's constructed of white marble. This area of Italy is of course known for its marble. And it's actually really, really old as well. Construction started in around 1063 and it was finished about 30 years later. So it was quite quick too. Now, the architecture is Romanesque style, it's got those archways and double columns but it also has beautiful touches of southern Italian art and also Islamic art too with the beautiful patterns you can see. So this is the interior of the cathedral and it's really light and spacious particularly for a building that old. You know it's not full of columns like a gothic cathedral tends to be. And there's some beautiful art here as well, not just the alternating black and white marble that has a great pattern to it. There's also an incredible fresco on the far wall of Christ as a wise man which you can probably see over my shoulder. So this is the baptistry and it's the second building constructed here on the piazza and it took over 200 years to build and you can see the change in architectural style during that time. The lower floor is Romanesque while the upper floors are Gothic. The interior is a perfect dome as well so it has incredible acoustics. And finally, we have, of course, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So it's around 60 meters tall and it's built of white marble. Now it was built over 200 years between the 12th and the 14th centuries. And the reason it leans is because for a tower of that height and that weight, its foundations are actually only about three meters deep, which is comically small. And of course, it's built on sand as well, which doesn't help. Now what's fascinating is that they only got to the second level before it started to tilt quite dramatically and so the upper floors are all built with that in mind. So on the higher side you can see that the walls are much higher than they are on the lower side if that makes sense. And you can see on the crown it's actually quite straight compared to the rest of the tower. Well this has been an incredible sight, though I guess you don't need me to tell you that. But I find it amazing that the baptistry and the cathedral here, they're just so beautiful, but they're literally and figuratively in the shadow of the Leaning Tower and they just don't get as much attention as I think they otherwise would. And I love the way the tower is well, it's just, it reminds me so much of like a, a cousin or a friend who's really tall and always ends up at the back of a photo craning their neck, it's really cool. But that's it from me, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage site.